Jesus freak, Jesus freak. What's up, buddy? Um, my first ever reply to you. I don't really do a lot of replies, but this one was just too easy. I just kind of let let this one go. I got a couple of questions. Uh, my first one will start with your statement where you say Exodus 21, 26. The book of Exodus 21, 26 teaches that we are to treat slaves the same standards as other Israelites. See, when I look up in my Bible, uh, the New International Version and King James Version, it makes reference to if a man hits a manservant or maidservant in the eye and destroys it, he must leave, let the servant go free to compensate for the eye. Exodus 21:26. So I don't know where you're getting that. Um, I did notice that in Leviticus 25:44-46. Uh, it says that however you may purchase male or female slaves from among the foreigners who live among you you may also purchase the children of such resident foreigners including those who have been born in your land you may treat them as your property passing them on to your children as a permanent inheritance you may treat your slaves like this but the people of Israel your relatives you must never you must never be treated this way so, yeah, and uh, just another question, to reference of how Bible slavery is so good, here's another good one for you, um, Exodus 21, 20. When a man strikes a male or female slave with a rod so hard that the slave's slave dies under his hand, he shall be punished. If, however, the slave survives for a day or two, he is not to be punished, since the slave is his own property. What's your take on that? Is that evil or is that good? Good? Evil. I see a little bit of evil in that. You may choose to disagree. So, Jesus freak, you can't read your Bible, you can't reference correctly to your Bible, and you don't know that you can hit a slave, you can beat the shit out of a slave, as long as it just goes into coma for a couple of days. Then it's okay. It doesn't really say if the person dies after those two days or recovers. It depends on what version of the Bible you're reading, but either way it says you can kick the shit out of your slave as long as it survives for two days. Good, evil, you decide. <laughs>